Ace the Basic Architect. Yeah, we are inside the Hummel House. Just walked up the ramp there on the first floor. So, standing in the entryway, keep in mind, a little hard to show you this, but uh, the entryway is a two-story space. So the stairs are actually going to come out there and they come down across there and they land here. And then, of course, basement stairs are over there and they go down. So, but this will be pretty much air open, two-story wall here. You see, you got some three windows up there. And then we have the door with a pair of windows down here. All of these have our pocket header detail where we use a single ply LVL and then we install a head plate down at the bottom. And uh, that allows us to pack that with insulation when the insulators are here. And, uh, yeah. So let's head on inside here. So this is kind of a dual entry from the entryway. So this is what I would call the back entry. That's the front entry. That won't take people in that way. This one, we have a nice sizable walk-in, or not walk-in, but sizable closet there. We also on the left side have the homeowner's office just off of here. And then we walk through this doorway. This is where the kitchen will reside under the flat ceiling portion. And then in the volume ceiling, we have the dining room area over there and the living room area over there, fireplace and stuff along that wall. But you can see there's that steel moment frame. And this is kind of, if, I'm, if I said I'm standing behind the island, that's pretty much the view you're going to get out that uh, doorway. And then, of course, you can see it's pretty much all glass in the little dining nook there. And then, of course, off the kitchen, we have that is a pantry. And then over here, we have the laundry and mudroom. And then there's that second entry that takes you back out. And we have a powder room right behind the kitchen here. Um, so pretty simple floor plan. Not a whole lot of magic. Um, and, uh, let's take a walk around here and we'll go out and take a look back so you can see. Um, on the dining area here, you can see we have some nice big windows and they basically turn the corner there. So bring in some nice views. And then of course this massive uh, moment frame there, you can see the steel. It's all welded up and packed in there. And, uh, yeah. Take a closer look at that. But, uh, and that in a few weeks, that'll get buried for a very long time. And then of course, on this wall, we just have that one window because we're going to have this interior fireplace TV area. And then remember, that's that inside corner on the outside that I call the dirty yard. So all of the condensing units and stuff. You know, it's one of those things where when you're designing, you know, you want to design for all the really cool stuff, the views, the big doors and all of that. But you also have to design for all of the bad stuff. So this is a look back, obviously, second floor and roof is going to go up in here. So there's some windows in the corner and down on the end. But what you're looking at here is the kitchen will be snugly tucked underneath that flat ceiling. So that whole space in there, it's a U-shaped kitchen. Got some cabinets over there, back cabinets, and then some cabinetry over there with an associated pantry there. Um, give you a nice uh, view oh, to the backyard. It's a nice lot. And keep in mind, we're probably... 10 minutes, 15 minutes from downtown Boston. That's that large tree that we uh, successfully saved, it looks like. 
So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, coming back in here. And, uh, oh, you can see here, you know, for the kitchen, we used uh, some LSLs, laminated strand lumber. They're not OSB, they're strand lumber, it's different. You can see those are larger wood chips and uh, they get laminated. So you can see there's a whole bunch of layers there, but the reason we use those in the kitchen and you can see them on this wall too, is they give a very straight wall. Um, and when we're applying the cabinets, the backsplash, all of that, it takes a lot of the uh, kind of little movement out of the wall. And you might say, well, how big of a deal is it? Uh, you take a six inch tile or eight inch tile and you stick one end out an eighth of an inch. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a problem. So we uh, did that in the bath walls and the uh, kitchen walls. So that doorway there, pretty much everything through that threshold, this whole side of the house is the owner's suite. So. I like to have a little bit of a hallway and use things like the closet that's on the right, the office that's on the left to help buffer some of the acoustics for the bedroom proper. And um, you can see this is the office here that we're looking through through the studs. We have the door out to the front entry there, but we also have a back door here that gets you into the owner's suite with a nice generous window there. And then that moves us down. This is the bedroom proper. So this is actually going to have a volume ceiling that goes up and down here. And it's built into the truss. So, um, and then of course, this is the walk-in closet on this side. So it's double loaded. So we have closet rod down here. You could potentially do it there, but you really don't gain a whole lot. And then we have a nice long wall there and remember i said two by six 24 inch on center framing zip r6 here so it's uh looking good looking good and then of course we have this large opening i'm gonna go back here so we can walk up to it you can see there's that large opening there that's because it's a pocket door so it needs to be twice the size of the door the vanity will sit along the wall on the inside there. Oh, I'm sorry, the tub goes on that wall. Wrong project. Vanity sits over here in between the windows. Um, and then we have the shower over there. And then of course, a nice little toilet room here with an associated closet at the head of that. And that also will have a pocket door you can see we did our double wall detail. So this is the wall to the shower and I ended up sliding that door back. So we can get a pocket door in there, but we can't put the pocket door in that wall because that wall is part of the shower and wants the mixing valve and shower head and stuff in it. So you basically have to have both walls. So pocket door wall goes to the inside. You have a little jog there, but uh, actually it looks quite nice when it's done. And then of course, we have a window there in the toilet room. So, and uh, you can see our second floor, notice all of the zip is brought down, right? Because it's our air barrier. It's not gonna follow the trusses. You don't put the trusses up and then bring the zip down. You bring the zip down and then you apply the trusses there, so. It uh, makes for a very airtight building. Small details like that. We'll go back here and close this baby out. So, anyways, yeah. I'm Steve Basic Architect. We're out here getting ready for trusses. Stand by. Until next time, long live our buildings.